Hello again. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be addressing my drone. This video isn't going to be a review or a how-to or anything like that regarding this drone. I'll make another video for that. This is more directed towards the maker of this drone, DJI. This is a DJI Phantom Pro 3. There was a bunch of Phantom 3 models. There's the standard. Um, there's a couple other ones, and then there was the Pro, which was the top of the line Phantom 3 model. I had a bunch of different features and stuff, and so that's why I went with this one, because it was kind of the uh, the cream of the crop of the 3 series. I bought this drone secondhand on Craigslist. Um, I think I got three batteries, a backpack, a charger, the drone, controller for like, I think it was like 650 bucks or 700 bucks or something like that. A pretty good, I got a good deal on it. And like a lot of my equipment, I buy it second hand because, well, I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> you guys have seen what I drive. And I've had it for about six months. And I use this drone primarily at the beach, by the ocean, and I put it through some pretty harsh conditions. This last trip that I went on, I went to uh, Nazare, Portugal. There was probably between six and seven drones up in the air at one time. And I can tell you all but one were DJI. There was DJI uh, Phantom 4s, DJI Inspires, and then there was me, the only guy that had a Phantom Pro 3. But anyways, there was a lot of really expensive hardware flying around that day and pretty much every day after that. During my filming out there, I encountered some really, really harsh conditions. It was raining. There was constant sea spray. There were so many drones in the air at one time that the radio signals between all seven drones, I counted seven all in the air at once within like 300 yards from each other. I mean, they were all just packed into this little area. I mean, they look like little bees buzzing around. The only problem I've ever had with this drone, ever, was when I encountered all of those other drones, and it just, uh, mine had the weaker signal out of the group, and uh, it lost communication. But here's the thing. I didn't freak out because this has a function on it where it will return home. And so it returned home, no problem. So I had a bit of a heart attack. My drone completely disconnected twice on the same flight. Good thing is, <laughs> these things have an auto fly home mode and it flew home on its own. The only thing that I was worried about is if I collided with another drone and you know, I just got taken out or something like that. So I had a little bit of a panic attack there for a minute, but as soon as I started seeing it coming towards me, um, I knew right away that um, it was probably a radio interference problem. And on top of that, I had this drone strapped to my backpack going from San Diego to London to Portugal, dropping it, shoving it in the back seat of a car, jamming this drone in every spot possible. All around Portugal, everywhere I went, and then on my return trip home, I basically had it strapped to my back again. It took an absolute beating. I have crashed it once. <laughs> but I don't want to go on too much of a rant. This, this video is directed towards the creators at DJI, um, and I just want to say thanks. This thing has gone through so much, and it still works just fine. There's nothing wrong with it, other than some rust on the screws, but, but that's what happens when you expose something like this to salt water conditions. I flew this thing back, and it was dripping wet, and I flew it right back out again. No problem. So DJI is not paying me to say this. I've never contacted them. I've never communicated with them ever. I'm saying this all on my own as a thank you. You guys make an excellent product. And I would encourage uh, any of my viewers here to go out and get yourself a drone. And if you want to get one that's going to stand up to the abuse, the ruggedness, and still give you quality images, DJI is the only thing I can recommend. Even though this is the, the three, and there's other models that are out that are better, I love this thing. It's great. But 
Anyways, I felt like I had to make this video just because I was completely shocked at the abuse that I put this thing through and that I constantly put through on a very regular basis, and it just holds up just fine. If I could think of anything negative about this, it's not really negative, but it's it's just a thing that exists in the world. It's battery life. Um, I mean, the batteries last 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the wind, and, and they're expensive. The batteries can be anywhere from like 120 to like $130 for a Phantom Pro 3 battery. I'm not really too familiar with how much Phantom 4 batteries or equipment goes for. I have bought five of these things just so I can get that that lifespan so I can keep video uh, so I can keep recording throughout the day. That has nothing to do with DJI. That's that only has to do with the technology of batteries that are available in today's market. So anyways, that's my rant. Uh, I just want to tell you guys that this is a killer product. I have put it through its paces. And go out and buy yourself a DJI Phantom. Or an Inspire if you've got the money, but... Or a Mavic.